Yeah, so we start our little two-day wild camping adventure. Um, here's then the rolling hills of the west coast with all the, the wheat, a um, little few sheeps. So this is pure farmlands on the west coast side. Um, saw some steeds and uh, so you can see all the trucks. So uh, it still is a working farm area. So yeah, we're coming up the Pikenierskloof Pass. We stopped at the Toll, which is an iconic stop for us. And then there you can see the roaster cook, the very popular breads made on the fire. Um, I opted to go for just a coffee because I had a big breakfast. And I can fully recommend uh, getting a flask and not having single use cups. Uh, we don't want single use. Now, this is then the Ulifans Rafir, Ulifans Elephants River. And we were riding up from Citrus Dal going north towards Plain William. So, this is a beautiful little gravel track. Uh, it forms part of the of the farmlands. Uh, it's mostly citrus around these parts, and then this takes you up north. Look how pretty that is, uh, coming around the side. So we were almost in Plain William area, uh, making our way up north. Look how beautiful that is. Such a pretty morning. No wind, glassy conditions. I saw one or two boats on the water as well. So this is then um, the drone shot and the GoPro shot mixed. Yeah, we're coming up the pass, heading from Plain William. And this is a little sneaky little turn off um, that we did. I found it on Tracks for Africa. So here I climbed, whoop, bah, and I put her down. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaimani. Sometimes you just put the girl down and that's why you have those crash bars. So this is a nice little long bend coming around. Uh, it's a great thing with these bikes is you can have the tar and the off-road. So this is then the little area of Yesel Bank. You can see there's full farming community. Dad teaching his kid how to drive the tractor. And then we stopped here at the, um, the river from Eselbank waterfall. Went for a little dip, it was quite hot. And then that little pool you can see down there, it's quite shallow, but uh, it made for a nice refreshing dip. Um, I do feature the, the Eselbank waterfall. It's just on the other side of that, that little view. That's on the other movies I've made. So this is then a nice little loose stone section. So there was some nice technical terrain. Um, this little spot here has always got a little bit of water, a little haven. So I've often taken a little dip there and, um, and off we go. So we were making our way up over to Cedarburg Oasis to have some lunch. And um, this is just a fun little track here that, uh, that we took. Um, I had the, the garments set up, so I was mostly riding in front. But uh, Lance knows this road, so um, he could have been in the front as well. But yeah, I was uh, mostly in the front, so I didn't get any any uh, dust. <laughs> um, yeah, so here we're crossing over a little water patch. It was much deeper with the winter time, so it's getting less and less. But it's always nice to have some fun through the water. And now we are making our way over to the, the Cedarburg Oasis. So um, here we're arriving. You can see the jacaranda trees, that's originally from Brazil. There's some fig trees and then obviously a good old burger. So that was essentially my early dinner. And uh, we left there around maybe around 4 o'clock. And then we started making our way over to the wild camping area. So this is then part of the Cedarburg. See beautiful open roads, not many people using this road so it's pretty quiet. And uh, so fun, so you can blaze up through it. That feeling when you're riding next to your friend, eh? nothing can beat that. It's such a good feeling. Um, so uh, the sun was starting to set, you could see it started getting into that golden hour. And uh, here we're making our way up now the Cut Bucky's Pass. So this is then heading up to the top of the plateau. Um, really beautiful for stargazing. Uh, look at that in the background, so pretty. So that's then the back is the Cedarburg Valley. And here we arrived at the campsite. It's a little sneaky wild camping spot. It was just me and Lance. We've got the two tents, the two bonies, a little fireplace. What more do you need? Um, yeah, so we went hunting for a little bit of firewood. Very respectful little fire. And uh, that was now getting to the end of the day. Oh, so beautiful. And that's now full night. Yeah, really nice. The stargazing that evening was incredible because um, we are very similar height than Sutherland, which is one of the best stargazing areas in South Africa. Um, it's just on the other side of the Tankwa Karoo. So this was the next morning, nice and early. I got up, beautiful conditions. They made sure everything is clean. Um, leave only footprints. 
So um, here we were making our way over now into the Tankwa Karoo. And you can see there's the Tankwa in the, in the front. We stopped at the Tankwa Patstal, a very famous little farm stall. And there's the two ladies. Oh, I love Kaimani so much. Um, and then yeah, the Tankwa Patstal. I can definitely recommend uh, popping in there. A little haven in the middle of nowhere. So this is us now riding on the R355. It's the longest uninterrupted gravel road in South Africa. And then I can fully recommend Hillbillies. So this is on our way back home. Hillbillies is a nice little farm stall. And there me and Lance departed. He had to go home, but I still wanted to carry on. So I went to a really nice place called Bike Forge. They're very close to Tolbach. And look at this beautiful selection of, of motorcycles. Um, I can fully recommend. Bike Forge, it's close to Pilbach. Um, really nice place, good food, good drinks, good vibes, and amazing collection of motorcycles. So, this is then um, me heading home. I went on the Bainscliff Pass, but it was quite hot that day, so I was looking for a little swim spot. This is the one little spot I know of that I always go take a dip, and uh, yeah, just had to cool down quickly. And uh, this was me finishing off. So, the Bainscliff is a very beautiful pass, I can recommend. Um, yeah, I can fully recommend this. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little movie I made of my two-day wild camping trip. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.